hopefully at the end of this tutorial you'll have a better understanding of file share witnesses, quorums and data center switchovers for Exchange 2010. First let me begin by explaining the current configuration that I have. I have four servers EXCH new 1, 2, 3 and 6. All of these are mailbox servers and they are all within the database availability group called DAG1. Servers 1 and 2 are located in the primary data center site whereas servers 3 and 6 are located off-site in a secondary or standby data center. Since we have four nodes in our database availability group or DAG, you will notice that the quorum configuration is using node and file share majority. The file share witness is another server that is used as an additional vote whenever there is a split brain condition. Sp split brain occurs whenever the nodes have been partitioned or halved and when that happens since neither side has the majority an additional vote from the file share witness is needed. Let's take a look at the file share witness server. I've configured my witness directory to be the fs directory that you see here. If you open this directory you will see that there are some files located in this in this directory. Whenever the file share witness vote is used you will notice that there's a lock placed on that folder. Currently, if I open the sessions here, you will see that there's no current lock on this file if I refresh. This is because although I have an even number of nodes in my database availability group, the condition known as split brain where you have half of nodes on either side has not occurred. Hence, there's no need for this file share vote as yet. Now what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to simulate a data center, a primary data center failure. And this is going to be done by disconnecting the network connections for EXCH new 1 and new 2, which are the two servers in the primary site. And also I'm going to disconnect the network connection for the file witness server. And that will leave me with a, minor with a minority of nodes, two nodes, just three and six. And as you will expect, the quorum will fail and the database availability group will become deactivated. And as a result, we will not have any services, any email services for users. This tutorial is going to look at how we can resolve situation. So let's begin by taking a look at our current configuration by running the following commands get database availability group slash status full and this is going to bring up some very interesting things and very important we see that the witness server is stored on a file, on a file server called server and the directory as we showed you previously is on the C drive called FS. There's also a alternate witness server and alternate witness directory which will come into play when we restore services at this secondary site. Also very very important are the stopped mailboxes servers and started mailboxes servers. These are servers, servers that are currently in the DAG and later on we're going to show you the emphasis on why these two fields are so important. Operational servers list the servers in the database availability group that are currently online. And the primary active manager is the node that owns the quorum and also decides on which databases to mount on which servers. So now let's simulate a failure of one node called EXCH new one by disconnecting the network connection and we will see what happens. So I've just disconnected EXCH new one and if I refresh we see that this node has changed the status as being down. 
exch new one is now down is now down. And if we take a look at our file witness server, we see that there are still no locks on the file witness share. This is because the file witness share vote is not needed because we still have more than the majority of votes. We have three servers out of the four still online. Hence quorum is still being achieved and the DAG database availability group will remain active. Now I'm going to disconnect the second node EXH new 2 which is the second node in our group. Notice that immediately we get a warning stating that if there's one more node failure then this could cause the cluster to fail. Now we have four nodes in our cluster and since we are using majority node set clustering if two nodes are down and two nodes are up then we don't have the majority of votes so the only way that our database availability group can be online is because the file share witness has now come into play and if I refresh here this is what we are looking for the witness log being locked when the lock is placed on this file we know that the file share witness vote is being taken into consideration if this server were to feel that is hosting the file witness share then we will not have that vote and then we would lose quorum because we would only have two votes remaining which is less than a required majority of three now I'm going to simulate entire data center, data center failure by disconnecting the actual file, file witness server. And when that happens, we will have a minority of votes, and then the cluster would fail. So if I refresh this after disconnecting the file share witness server called server from the network, we see that the file share witness resource and the cluster core resources has failed because we have disconnected it from the network. And if we try to reconnect to the DAG, we find that it is offline so there's no connection can be made. Even if we try to ping the DAG computer name, virtual name, we get no response. This is because it is offline as a result of the quorum being lost. And if we run back the get database command take a close look at the stopped mailbox servers and started mailbox servers. Stopped mailbox servers are those servers that are marked unavailable for the database availability group and started mailbox servers are those that are to be available for the database availability group. When you're restoring services or you're restoring your database availability group to your standby site you wish to restore services to only the servers that are available on the standby site. So ideally what you would like to have is all servers that were disconnected on the primary site should be marked as stopped. When they are marked as stopped and you run the restore database availability group command then those servers in a stop list will not be tried to come back online into the DAG group but instead they will be evicted as you will see in a little while.